Welcome back to this episode of Smash and Drink. Today we're doing kind of a quickie one. Um, if uh, anyone's getting ready to go camping or has like air mattresses or any type of inflatable uh, device that you um, store away and then get out the next year or whatever and you air it up and it just keeps losing air, you can't find the leak to patch it even if you wanted to because you can buy patches for most things. But you can't find the leak, we're going to show you a trick. Really easy, really simple, clean way. To find your air leak. Let's get started. Smash engineering. Alright, so if you go to the dollar store or value stores, hardware stores, you can buy these that don't have anything in them. They're just an empty spray bottle. So that's what I've done. Um, fill it with water, how much ever you want to make. I just want to make this much. It's a teaspoon to every cup is the ratio, but I just eyeball it. Get yourself a little dish soap. I like to use Dawn. <clears throat> kind of eyeball. That looks about right. And then we cap it. It's best if you put the water in first. If you put the soap in first, it makes a bunch of suds as the water fills in, but you can gently mix it up without making too much suds in there. <clears throat> see it kind of tinted it a little bit and then what you're gonna do we'll step over to my um, inflatable couch that I'm having a leak with and I'll show you what we're gonna do all right so the first thing you're gonna do before you ever use this if you have good enough hearing I know we all don't I particularly don't um, I can hear some air leaks but not the greatest so first thing I do is air it up and then I listen around my seams kind of give it if you got cats look for little cat punctures because cats for some reason love inflatable things but um, just kind of listen around, and if you don't hear anything, or if you're incapable of hearing, um, you have a disability of some type, um, we're here for you. We're going to show you how to make a visual indicator. Um, even if you were completely lost of hearing, um, you should be able to do this as long as you have some vision or help with something. So, <clears throat> first thing I'm going to do, I suspect it's leaking somewhere in my seams. I don't have cats um, around this one, so um, I'm thinking... That it's a manufacturing defect they kind of heat glue or heat melt these seams together so the first thing i'm going to do is turn it to a spray setting and i'm going to mist down my seams get a close up here and then just kind of wait a second now yes i am spraying soap on my thing dawn dish soap is very non-reactive to stuff so I don't assume it's going to damage anything. <clears throat> what I can do when I'm done, um, if it bothers you, you can take it outside and hose it off and you've effectively cleaned it. It's not hurting anything. Um, another weak area other than seams is like right around where the uh, like they put these cup holders in. Well these are glued like heat glued in around the fabric or whatever you want to call this rubbery felt stuff. Um, and then you just kind of wait a few minutes. Um, if you don't have any bubbles forming, um, I'm hoping I'll find a leak for you <laughs> since I'm making a video on it. I'd love to show you what it looks like if we actually find a leak. Um, but you know what? We're going to take some time right now. Pause the video. Go down. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Throw us a comment on there. I know it's early on in the video, but throw us a comment in there. Put a, put a smiley face in there. And I'm wishing you a good day. Your smiley face would wish me a good day. You know, but... Uh, so I don't see anything here, so I'm going to move to the back, and I'm just going to do one half at a time. So now we'll miss this. Another good place to miss is in here, because this is a where you fill it from. Um, it does have a check valve in there. Obviously, I have it capped. Let's see. Check valve leaking. Doesn't look like it. Oh. Nope, maybe not. Alright, so then what I'll do is flip it over. 
do the same thing on this side. I'm putting it on a little thick for video's sake. You don't have to do it that thick. But, uh... There are little bubbles there. Bubbles are somewhat normal. Um, I'm really hoping I do actually find a leak now. Should have thought about that before I made the video. But there is a leak somewhere on this, and um, we're gonna we're gonna find it together. But we're gonna we're gonna promote positive energy, and we're gonna we're gonna find this leak, maybe. Ah, here we go. That's what I was referring to. So, see how it's continuously making bubbles? That's what a leak looks like. And it's right in. I don't know if that's a repairable area. Oh, I've made a mess now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my hot glue gun and I'm going to pull that point as far over as I can. I don't know. I don't probably actually want to be able to. But anyway, I'm going to let the air out and I'm going to try to patch that. That's going to be have to be a hot glue gun patch or maybe super glue or something. <clears throat> the normal patches that you get are not made for like these little inner corners. They're more made for like if you have a hole up in here or something. Um, but so... There's a, there's kind of what I was waiting for it to do. That's what I was looking for. That's if you mix your soap mixture right, that's what it'll look like. <clears throat> so this is what you don't want. That's a leak. But if you're having a leak and you're trying to find the leak, this is what you do want. All right, well, that's going to round out this episode. I'm going to go ahead and get to now I need to get the soap off of this. I gotta get the soap off somehow. In I sprayed our, it like a crap ton so I can make the video. In our shower? No, what? Is it working? Mm, one way to get the soap water off. I don't know. Kinda. Hey, it's not dumb if it works. I don't think any glue or anything will stick to a soapy surface. At least I doubt it. And if, if there's some soap or glue, or if there's some glue or tape or whatever that does stick to a soapy surface, leave it in the comment section below. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off, get it dry. I'm going to get the air out of it. Um, I'm going to memorize where the leak's at. Um, and then I'm going to, I'm probably going to try to super glue it. I'm thinking super glue might be the best um, for this location. Super glue is not going to be good anywhere where you get bends. But because this is right around the cup holder, it's kind of stiff as it is. So I'm going to give super glue a try. I'll leave a comment uh, in, the in the comment section below if it works or not. But the purpose of this video was to help you locate um, the leak. If you want a video on how to fix it or how I fix it, leave that in the comment section. And uh, I got a few air mattresses with some leaks. I'll, I'll post a video on how to fix them, but it's pretty straightforward. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'm so glad you tuned into this episode. Thank you for being here, and I uh, will catch you on the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.